The moment I knew I was ready to quit my job was whenever I started making more in online sales in a day than I was earning with my paycheck in my corporate job. My name is Tori Gerbig, and I'm the founder and CEO of Pink Lily. In 2014, I walked away from my job making under $40,000 a year, and last year on my e-commerce site, we brought in over $141 million in revenue. In 2009, I graduated from college right in the middle of a recession. The only job that I could find was selling insurance, and I started out making $25,000 a year. After graduating college, my husband and I had over $70,000 in student loans, plus a mortgage and car loans. We were really barely getting by, so we decided to start selling on eBay to help supplement our income. We sold things from golf clubs to Halloween masks, just about anything that we could that we would find going viral on the internet and we could get for wholesale to sell at retail price on eBay. I was posting items on there daily and it was a huge increase based on um, the years prior on eBay. So the Facebook group really helped catapult the sales and really ignited the fire in this whole business. Once we launched the Facebook group and I went back to work full time after my maternity leave, my son was about four months old. So I was getting very little sleep at night. I would work during the day, eight to 4.30, come home, cook dinner, do the fun bedtime routine with him and then head to the Facebook page group and post the products, PayPal invoice and ship products out until about one to two o'clock in the morning. So it was very little sleep I was getting around that time. I do remember selling items out of the trunk of my car though on my lunch breaks and asking to leave early here and there for me to go into town to meet people to sell my products. It was time for us to launch this website so we could reach a larger audience and it would also capture sales at any time during the day versus only whenever I was on with the Facebook group. It was pretty bad right out of the box, but it was an e-commerce store and that's all we needed. Our goal was to bring in over $100,000 in sales in one month. So we hit that our fourth month in business and at that time we decided that it would better suit me to focus on growing the business than it would for me to sell insurance. So in April of 2014, I decided that it was time for me to walk away. And then in July of 2014, my husband left his corporate position as well. We did have an emergency fund. I think it had around $10,000 in it. So we could get by, I believe, for just a couple months if things were to go wrong. I remember our goal for the first year was $50,000 in sales. So to hit over $4 million our very first year in business was just phenomenal. We were so ecstatic. From 2014 to 2015, we grew from $4.1 million in revenue to over $12 million in revenue. In 2021, we ended the year with over $141 million in revenue to the site. I do love having a retail store and I don't think it's out of the question for the future, but it hasn't been the main focus only because online has grown so fast. We'll be having like a free Black Friday sale. So if we hit forecast goals for Black Friday for Cyber Monday, when do we think we'll be back with an SLA as far as shipping?
it is not the easiest thing in the world to have a business with your spouse. Luckily, we work very well together, and I think it's because we also worked together prior to starting a business. We did meet while working at a restaurant in college, and we're very familiar with the way that both of us work. We both have very hardworking personalities, and we go very well together because my husband is much more laid back. I'm very high strung, so we complement each other very well, which works for us very well. I would say that this year is probably the first year where I can work a little bit less due to us hiring so many directors over the last two years. Prior to that, I was working anywhere from 60 to 70 hours a week. My day-to-day -day changes every single day, so I come in and several days a week I have a full calendar of Zoom meetings, touch bases with the directors, and marketing team, buying team, customer service team. One day a week I still go to the buying meetings because I still have a very large input on the product that we carry for the customer. And then I also still travel with the photo shoot team occasionally a few times a year, as well as the buying team to Los Angeles, to Nashville, and to markets around the country. Leaving corporate America and starting Pinkley was one of the very best decisions I've made in my life. Cheers. <laughs> Drink. It has opened up so many opportunities. I have gotten to meet amazing women and men throughout the whole country. I get to travel. I get to spend more time with my kids. We are debt free. We have the financial freedom to do so many things in life. And I honestly just am much happier now that I get to work for myself. Oh, wow. Does Reese look so pretty? Mommy, do you have one like this? There, your head. Yes, Mommy, yes, do you have one like this? Mommy, do you have one like this? I do. Would you? Can I have it? We'll see, maybe. I didn't grow up in a, um, a place where I was told that as a female that I could do anything I wanted to. It was, you know, most of my family members were teachers or nurses and, and that's what I thought that I had to do. So for me to, to now be a CEO of an Inc. 5000 brand that we started and to only be 35 years old, um, that was really something that I, I want to instill in my, my girls to know that just because you're a CEO doesn't, you know, you don't have to be a male. You can be a female. You can be a female leader in any industry and be very successful.